just talk about the reception you've gotten in the two weeks that you've had. But people are pretty aware of the situation here. Oh, it's really good. I mean, you hear the question from a recruiting standpoint about the NCAA sanctions, and everybody has their fingers crossed. And they want to know what's going on from a recruiting standpoint. A high school coach, AAU coaches, players, and they want to know what's going on with that. But other than that, it's been great. Actually, I met with uh, Chris Jones, and okay. I thought it was very productive. Just sitting down talking. I, I think for him, it's just really getting a feel for me. And he understands what he has to do in, our, in the stretch run to complete what he needs to do to be a part of our program. And a very talented young man. Then Kevin Ware, I didn't have an opportunity to meet with him because we didn't have the, the contact days to meet with him. Well, right now we have nine guys on scholarship, and that's including Scotty and Tobias. Um, and depending on what those guys will do, I'd like to have 10 guys on scholarship. Uh, so now if both of those guys in the fold, we could possibly have 11. There's only so many guys right now that are available that are good enough and can help your program, and even from a character standpoint. So really, it's the 2012, 2013, 2014, when Matt Painter took over at Purdue University, Etwan Moore, and he, Robbie Hummel, Jawan Johnson, those guys were freshmen in high school. So we laid the groundwork from there, and we started running. So, so it's really those young guys and getting quality guys, and really, we, we started that already. But for us, we, we've identified some guys we really like, and it's just a matter of reeling them in. But when you recruit, that's the, I think that's the biggest key, building the relationship necessary, because. You want that relationship to continue, especially with high school teams, AAU teams, because they'll continue to have players. It doesn't matter whether they're junior college or high school guys. I mean, first, they have to be good enough and, mm -hmm. and be able to do the things we need necessary to be successful. But, uh, but I, I, we will look into it without a doubt. I think if you can get another body in there, uh, if he can help us, uh, not just take guys just because he's big. Uh, we were at Purdue and at Missouri State. We played a 6-4, got the power four. Chris Kramer played power four at 6-2. So that's not necessarily the case, because you have to be able to defend, defend our guys as well. Uh, if you can get another body, you can get a, a combo wing for the you know, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six athletic, physical type of guy. Unlike Cameron, those guys are wiry you know, type bodies. You need a physical presence where you can bang a little bit down around the basket.